it. Man, it's coming quick, but we're ready. So we're sitting in a planning meeting, I want to say February, and we're talking about conference, let's do like conference again. Last five conference we recorded an album, so I was like, hey, maybe we'll record an album. Careful if you throw that out, Kylie, because that's like a really short timeline. Breaking news tonight, President Trump declaring the coronavirus a national emergency. The move freeing billions for the fight as America could... The church fight. had been through a season of fear. It wasn't just a goal to write an album. We knew I wanted to write an album on yes and amen, that it was coming into agreement with God. Pastor Adam has this idea, hey, let's release an album at conference and like no one will hear anything until we get to conference. And I'm literally like, I love my job, I love my job, I love my job. Like, I can do this. So to write a song, you need a top line, which is the melody, it's what, it's what you sing. Then you need lyrics, the chords, you don't want to write a melody that sounds like another song. Then Rob kind of puts a demo together, sends it back, and then the band need to learn that demo, but then also bring their own self to it. So then the vocals need to learn it, and then everybody's tracking from home. We had to audition a choir. We didn't have a choir. Yo, I'm so excited about this one. Vibe, worship, choir. We had to teach our choir. <laughs> Then we record everything. Then you're waiting on Pastor Adam's schedule, like, I've got 30 minutes today, let's write. You know, I get to come in at kind of certain points and just check in and make sure it's kind of sticking to the theme. I'm like, how many ideas can I bring to him? And then sometimes he's laboring. I don't know about that line, like, let's, let's go again. I'm like, then we start the mixing. That's final everything. Is this guitar too loud? Is the drums too loud? Do we want the vocal up more? Like that can take four or five times back and forth adjusting levels, tweaking things. And then once we master it, it's like the final bow and then that thing's finished. And usually an artist does that in maybe a year, two years. We did it in three months. I was just like, is it gonna be good? And can I do it? I knew that we couldn't do this on our own. We needed a team. I needed them to catch the theme without fully understanding it. The first thing we had to do was go and write these songs. So we went on a songwriting retreat Nine point seven miles away from Button Willow. What are we doing? We're doing a writing, or we're gonna be at a writing retreat. You want me to shoot? You want me to try high? Yeah. We are so excited to announce that We Love Christian Music Awards has nominated Yes and Amen for the Best Church Worship Album of the Year. Yes and Amen is the sound of Vive Church, and we invite you to be a part of bringing home the prize. Head to the link in the description to vote for Vive Worship, Category 5, Best Church Worship Album of the Year. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube page and follow up on Spotify to keep up to date with all of Vive Worship releases.
Yes, to 